Welcome back to John's Films. Today we're going to look at five features that do not exist in the free version. I'll show you how they work and what they look like. Let's jump into it. The dehaze feature is incredibly helpful when you're talking about city views. You'll notice you're able to use the dropper to pick the color of the haze that you have in your footage and identify it for treatment. It immediately pulls it out based on the strength that you give it, the shadow or highlight view that you'd like to see, and I also think it ups the saturation of the resulting background so that you get a little bit more vibrance out of your foot. You could create this with the curves in DaVinci Resolve Free. Next, we look at lens flare, which is fun because there are so many options for customization to get the look and feel that you want. When you first drop lens flare onto a node, it puts a sparkle out in your footage, and you can move that around to create that lens flare down on the bottom right-hand side. That's going to be the rainbow halo effect. In this case, I've put the sparkle directly over the, tar the target, which is the sun, and I've been able to uh, mask that out but keep the colors in the corner. Further, you could see I was using the flare presets and the output, that being, do we affect the final, what do you want to see? Do you get the final image? Do you see only the flare that's affected? Past that, you can change the number of aperture blades to get all the way up to 15, 20, 30 aperture blades, which is, to create this in the free version, you'd have to do quite a lot of work in Fusion. I've seen tutorials online tell users to smear Vaseline over their lens if they'd like to get this effect. This is one that I think you could use pretty well to artificially create bokeh on a background behind somebody that's green screened for a roll. Overall though, I think it's a lot easier cleanup than Vaseline on the screen. I'm not sure how you would directly be able to adjust the bokeh size, the view configuration uh, that you can in this setting with the free version, but you could probably approximate it. And moving into the color tab, in the effects panel for any of the individual nodes, you can apply, much like I am with the beauty feature, any particular effects to any node in your node graph. Here with the beauty feature, there's an intense amount of options that can dramatically affect the way that the individual looks. Here, for instance, I'm adjusting the smoothing threshold in show split view. The split view allows me to see the before, the after, and the effect on a mask for depth. Now, as I adjust the smoothing threshold or change the lighting, you can see a dramatic change in her face. Now, she's gorgeous to start with, but we can make her look pretty awful if we want to. Conversely, you can smooth out skin that may need a little bit of a help. Here's the texture threshold. As you move around in the texture threshold, adding texture, removing texture, you'll notice the pores in her face taking on greater definition, the lines in her lips picking up, here is feature recovery, so that would be previewing the recovery areas if there's anything that you want to smooth or further pull. There's the texture mode. Each of these has a preview so you can tell exactly how much you're affecting the photo and the image. As you can see, there's an immense amount of change you can apply to even the most beautiful models. This feature would be amazing when trying to tell a story and create characters with more depth be able to make the bad characters look a little rougher, you could make the good characters look a little cleaner, and it'd really relate back to your audience. The next effect I'll preview is Contrast Pop. It gives you a lot more range in your contrast and different control over the way that it looks. More specifically, you have the ability to manage the way that the detail is highlighted in the contrast changes, as well as the threshold of the high end and the low end that the darkness will affect. Can you get a similar look in free? Sure, absolutely. Use the curves, use the color wheels. But overall, this gives you a bit more fine tuning and a bit more granularity when it comes to the contrast changes that you're making in the system.